Welcome back to the, welcome back to Monkey Ball, guys. You I thought you were gonna that? say welcome back to Alexis. <laughs> welcome, welcome back to Alexis, guys. Did you enjoy my display? <laughs> All right, so Jose is doing labyrinth. <laughs> I know, I, I know, I, I just remember suffering in this level. I, I don't have good memories. I think you pass it to me at some point. Of I course, me remember. and Kose are fifth dimensional creatures, and we can see the four, uh, we can see time as a physical dimension. So that's how I'm able to recollect the fact that he will pass it to me maybe in the future. And so it's, <laughs> if you if you if you watch Godzilla Singularity Point, it's kind of like that. Uh, so yeah, um, last episode we left off on a cliffhanger of emotions. Uh, the Monkey Ball Nintendo Direct reveal. So yes, I almost cried. And now you go. Uh, <laughs> Nintendo in general did pretty good. Like I know people are excited for various things, but I'm I'm excited for Breath of the Wild too. You... I've never played it, but I also understand the excitement for that because last time they were like, <laughs> they did nothing. Uh, okay, <laughs> hey, look, Link got his arm grabbed by a giant black thing, which is probably Ganon's corpse. And then now you see the trailer that Link probably lost that arm and now has a has a prosthetic. I like your strategy here, just dying. <laughs> Look, I'm trying to find any loopholes in the stage. Don't at me. <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, so oh, but yeah. yeah. For me, if it wasn't for Monkey Ball, I I honestly would have thought that direct was like, eh. It's just like, okay, cool, I guess. But you did better than every other company, though. Even monkey if you didn't think. Me saved the entire direct. <laughs> just like monkey. You, you think you realize that probably to every, a lot of people, Nintendo's direct was definitely the best out of all the other companies' E3 things this year. I'd probably because most of the companies did. What? I, I'd say Razer did pretty good. Just because, like, Razer was like introducing funny face mask and new gaming laptop although i heard the laptop actually has issues and we'll touch on that later if you want but yeah wow. razor razor was pretty like mimi so i guess razor was like the run the, the runner up to nintendo in terms of quality everyone else just sucked oh, they, they barely announced anything yeah like nintendo had the most content announced and that's why everyone likes it Every, I, I forgot which one was the really cringy one. I don't know if it was Capcom or Ubisoft. I actually don't even remember. I was just watching recaps by uh, Robert Ross to, to gauge how E3 was going. And I feel like this E3 in general just was a poo-poo. Well, they finally announced Elden Ring. Is that is that Skyrim 2? No, it's probably Dark Souls number or some Dark Souls oh. game number sixty nine. Oh right, I forgot. Cause uh, you're doing really good, by the way. This I mean, level, I'm trying to look, pause. This level looks like a developer just said, "Fuck." <laughs> <laughs> how do they torment the How do they torment the player as much as possible? Cause yeah. mm. Are we gonna play this level re remastered in HD? Oh, I guess we're gonna have to, right? Oh my god. Guys, Monkey Ball Banana Mania coming out October something. I want it. Someone buy it for me. This is the second game in the series, right? Yeah. This is Monkey Ball 2, yes. Uh, Monkey Ball 3 was. The There's no Monkey Ball 3, but the third game that everyone loves. And I guess it's considered the third one is Monkey Ball Deluxe. Which uh. is basically like, think of like Kingdom Hearts. It's basically, it's like Monkey Ball Remix. I see. But I think uh, Deluxe spe specifically only came out on the PS2. I have the PS2. Wow. I have the PS2 Slim. I have your GameCube. Ha ha ha. Yeah, you do. Why do you <laughs> give that back to me? Let's be just trying to jump over there. I think I succeeded in jumping over at, like, at least one attempt. 
eventually. <laughs> All right. I think this this will definitely take up most of the, ep the, oh, yeah, this the is entire the, episode. This is the entire episode. I can already tell by looking at the timesheet. <laughs> I see. Uh, this level is so convoluted. So close to make that good. How are we supposed to make that? I wonder how the developers intended you to clear this level, you know? Because, like, usually you gotta make the level. Hey, Kosei, we sure. should play Cuphead. <laughs> We need to finish that. I feel like now that I have a proper controller, it's totally it, it can happen, and it can happen, and I'm better at existing. It'll be great. Wow. I've changed as a person. I have arthritis now. I'm kidding. <laughs> arthritis. What kind of disease is that again? I know it's a horrible one, but. It's a painful joint disease. It's the one where your joints hurt. Ah. Uh. But like, not hurt like, ooh, ouch, my bones. It's the one where it's like, literally like, ouch, my bone! And then no one believes that your bone hurt. <laughs> ow, 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 my <laughs> bones, my bones, my bones. <laughs> Dio, have you put in it? Have we given father a bone hurting juice? You ever think about how why humans haven't evolved to not have arthritis? Like what? <gasps> I'm probably I'm probably losing it right now. Probably oh. losing it. <laughs> oh yeah, you're just like what now? <laughs> oh yeah, don't you ever think that like how? What? Why? Why human no evolved to be anti f? Now that hurt. <laughs> no. <laughs> I mean, there's some things that we just simply don't evolve because we kind of do decently fine already. Do you think humans have stopped evolving or have we paused? In a sense, we probably paused evolving because our medical technology has gotten so good that we do don't have a need to. Do you think that our to. medical advancements have, uh, have affected our evolution? Most definitely. Because evolution is basically... One of the methods of evolution is natural selection. And because... I mean, well... Because You're right, of medi we because got of medical science... <laughs> because of medical science basically makes it so easy to live with, like, chronic disorders or something like that. Uh, in the past, you were basically kind of screwed if you had any of those. Mm -hmm. It basically became more easy to have them, so those genes aren't weeded out and eliminated. Mm -hmm. So they will continue to somewhat exist semi-prolifically. Although not really, because... Let's face it, some of those people... Uh, no. It's... It, uh, <laughs> wow. <laughs> Yeah, I was gonna say the harsh truth is that yes, like you could live as these people, but or that not you could find a spouse <laughs> with one of those things. It really depends on the disorder, though. It just sometimes some things just aren't possible. It really is kind of heartbreaking with looking at Monsters University, like Mike Wazowski. It. <laughs> Mike, it's basically Mike Wazowski trying to become a scare, like uh. You know basically what uh, Sullivan Sully? is in the yeah what Sully is in the move in uh, Monsters Inc. Uh -huh. Look like, at this. Basically Hold on. This corner right here, a bitch who designed that. <laughs> I hate that corner. How would a speedrunner do this level? Pride. Like you have like speedrunners do some crazy things. I've looked up like I seen a tiny bit of a monkey ball speedrun. Oh yeah, me too. Remember the frame skips and whatever. Oh yeah, this yeah. is this is this is this is just. <laughs> oh, yeah. So, so I eventually just find another. Oh, yeah, but the monsters, the monsters university. So yeah, it's basically about Mike Wazowski. He he's going to monsters university, <laughs> and he's trying to become a scare. Mike isn't scary, 
and Sullivan, even though at this point they are become very good friends, is very painfully aware of that. So he kind of cheats. Mike finds out naturally he falls into despair and seeks I can scare people. So he, he tries to go to the human world and try to scare children. You did it. I did it. I did it. Uh, so yeah, he he goes in and tries to scare. He tries to scare children, to which he faces the harsh reality that the children aren't scared of him. Cause he's funny. Cause he doesn't look scary. I watched a video talking about this, and the person, as a disabled person, kind of enjoyed maybe unintentional message in Monsters in Monsters University. Like as a disabled person, you can't really do everything you want to do, or like aspire to be anything and everything, like a lot of other movies say. Take it from Kose, a disabled person. He has no legs. But yeah, it's like something like, uh, they they compared it to like another, a movie like Toy Story 4. Like, there are a few somewhat disabled, in a sense, uh, toys, and they somehow get their dreams to come true, but they feel that it kind of shows an improbable message to disabled people. Like a person with no wings can't possibly imagine to fly or something like that. This is so much spoilers. Are we allowed to flash those? Ah, yeah, obviously, we just need to put a spoiler warning ahead. A spoiler warning ahead this whole time. But it, those movies are fairly old. I don't think anyone cares about too much about Monsters University in the first place. And anyone who cares about Toy Story 4 has probably already watched that. I point. have not. Because <laughs> I haven't seen a single Toy Story movie or a Monsters Inc. movie. <laughs> I mean, do you plan to watch him? Oh man, you passed that easily. Not oh my god! Uh, Here's the controller back at you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. I think you were just like, after suffering the labyrinth, I just easily nailed that and give it back to you. You know, I'm, just, I'm probably just in pain regretting choosing the labyrinth. And now to do this level. <laughs> of course, I'm ballsy, so I'm gonna try and get the bananas. Oh yeah. yeah, I was super obsessed with getting bananas in this game. You were, and it hurt my soul. But now we have changed as people. I'm the one that took your legs. <laughs> my leg. The, the My leg guy in Spongebob is... Spongebob is technically considered the main character. I think you told me this. I did tell you. This. I'm the one that told you he essentially had a whole episode dedicated to him. I need to see that episode. <laughs> I'm pretty sure everyone just like compiled it into its best moments, which was just all the leg scenes, but that's about it. I don't know what, if the entire episode is literally just all my leg jokes. Because if it is, great. But other than that, I feel like it's already been edited down to its best moments. That's all everyone needs to see. Pocket Sands. Pocket Sands? Pocket Sands. What would you do if Sands was in your pocket? Obviously, I throw him at my greatest enemy. If I'm in danger, if I'm like up against like a horrible foe, uh, just do pocket sands and just throw him. Good. He's gonna megalovania him to death. What if instead he, he threw it at him and then he himself created a black hole and you witnessed a black hole up close in person and understood everything about a black hole, but then you couldn't really tell anyone about it because what would you say? You're like, I have this guy that lives in my pocket, and I throw it at someone, <laughs> and it creates a black hole. Oh, I've been showing to you, Alexis. Oh, good thing. You would probably enjoy the information the most. <laughs> I would. <laughs> that is if I don't die from a black hole in the first place. True. I get, I get past the first hurdle. You do, and then and which I is... instantly give up. <laughs> oh no, you die! <laughs> I, I saw a slope, and I'm like, nope, I can't do this. There needs to be is there needs to be one category called monkey ball most bananas run. 
Yeah, you won that one. Look, I know, I already know, but just by looking at this, that it is impossible to get all the bananas the monkey ball. All the bananas? Well, not impossible. Impossible means it can't be done. Someone has definitely probably done. Oh, actually. I've seen a video, I've seen a video, but there's a lot of levels where there are branching paths where you can't really go back to them. So it is mm -hmm. indeed impossible. You're right, you're right. Also, how do you expect to go through this level? Go through a super thin level area without dying and then trying to go back. True. Uh. Nice. <laughs> I think I just give up and just go through here. See how fast I go. And then you fall, right? And then, oh no. Cool. You did it, Kosei. Da 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 da. And I think that's gonna be the end of the episode. Ding 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 ding. ding. All right, so that's the end of this episode. Who knows how editing is gonna how how I'm gonna chop this one up? But uh, thanks for watching, and I guess until the next episode, perish. <laughs> perish. It's time for you to perish. It's time for your daily perishing. Bye bye.